you know, we've got all these new cameras out at the homesteads, so, you know, I, I get plenty of critter activity. You know what it looks like when you've got a, you know, moth or a, you know, some kind of insect or, or piece of debris flying across your field of view. But I've got something here that doesn't fit in. Really? Yeah, it happened just last night after our experiment. Skinwalker Ranch has been a subject of intense scrutiny and exploration, with a recent revelation shedding light on its mysterious secrets. High-speed cameras captured a series of experiments that not only uncovered the truth behind ancient tribal lore, but also challenged our understanding of the phenomena occurring on the ranch. Located in the U-Inter Basin of Utah, Skinwalker Ranch, also known as UFO Ranch, has been a hotbed of strange and unexplained events. In recent years, reports of UFO sightings and other paranormal occurrences have fueled the curiosity of scientists like Travis Taylor and his team. Their dedication to unraveling the mysteries of the ranch is showcased in the secrets of Skinwalker Ranch TV show, broadcast by the Discovery Channel. Over four seasons, the team has employed state-of-the-art techniques and equipment to delve into their enigmatic phenomena surrounding Skinwalker Ranch. Among the mysteries investigated are the frequent sightings of UFOs and the perplexing appearance of mutilated cattle carcasses. Since 1996, there have been 16 documented cases of unexplained cattle mutilations, sparking debates about their origins. Some attribute these mutilations to the presence of UFOs while others point to the mythical creatures known as skinwalkers. According to Navajo tradition, skinwalkers are malevolent shapeshifters believed to inhabit the area. The team's experiments aim to uncover the truth behind these phenomena, utilizing cutting-edge technology and scientific methods. Through their relentless pursuit of answers, the team hopes to shed light on the mysteries that have long haunted Skinwalker Ranch. As they continue their investigations, they invite the world to witness their quest for truth on the secrets of Skinwalker Ranch TV show. Named after the infamous Skinwalkers, Skinwalker Ranch has long been shrouded in mystery. Yet Travis S. Taylor and his team remain undeterred in their quest to unravel its secrets. Armed with state-of-the-art drilling equipment and weather balloons, they aim to uncover the truth behind the strange occurrences plaguing the area. Their efforts are fueled by a desire to understand why Skinwalker Ranch has become a hot bed of bizarre UFO sightings and unexplained energy fluctuations. Despite previous failed attempts by the federal government, Taylor and his team are determined to succeed where others have faltered. Venturing to the Mesa drill site, a known focal point of paranormal activity, the team encounters numerous obstacles in their pursuit. Despite their best efforts, their drilling progress is thwarted by an unknown obstruction, leaving them unable to penetrate beyond 25 feet. This setback forces them to confront the challenges head-on, knowing that uncovering the truth may require them to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. As they grapple with these challenges, the team remains resolute in their mission. Despite setbacks and setbacks, they continue to push forward, driven by a relentless determination to uncover the secrets hidden beneath Skinwalker Ranch's surface. Despite their best efforts, the team faced yet another obstacle, a 400-foot-long metallic anomaly detected in the area. This anomaly, shaped like a dome, proved impervious to two drilling exercises, despite exerting 8,000 pounds of pressure from the drill. The sheer resistance posed a perplexing question. What material could withstand such force? Upon analysis of the shavings from this metallic anomaly, the team made a startling discovery. The material appeared to be akin to what NASA uses for its space shuttles, sparking speculation and raising eyebrows. The uncanny resemblance to materials used in spacecraft construction added layers of intrigue to the already mysterious situation. As the team pondered their next move, they faced a dilemma. Despite efforts to revive the drill, Lobb's drill remained dormant, its brand new motor failing to reignite. Determined to uncover the truth, 
the team opted to extract the drill bit for closer examination. Perhaps this would shed light on the nature of the obstacles they encountered beneath the surface. To their astonishment, upon extraction, the drill bit appeared pristine, devoid of any damage. This unexpected revelation left the team puzzled. How could a drill bit remain unscathed when met with such formidable resistance? The mystery deepened leaving the team grappling for answers amidst the enigmatic land escape of Skinwalker Ranch. The sheer pressure exerted during the drilling should have inevitably caused some wear and tear on the equipment. Typically, such intense pressure would generate considerable heat, potentially leading to damage or deterioration of the drill bit. Yet to the team's bewilderment, upon extraction, the drill bit appeared pristine devoid of any signs of damage or wear. This inexplicable outcome left the team baffled as they struggled to comprehend how their equipment remained unscathed despite their arduous efforts to penetrate the Mesa's obstruction. Regrettably, time constraints forced the team to abandon their efforts temporarily. They reluctantly departed, leaving behind the enigmatic anomalies buried within their Mesa. Travis, in particular, felt a surge of frustration at the prospect of leaving without unraveling the mysteries surrounding the anomalies. The unanswered questions regarding the anomalies' resistance to drilling machines and the presence of spacecraft-related materials only added to their vexation. Despite their frustrations, Travis and the team resigned themselves to accept temporary defeat. They understood that they would need to regroup with more advanced equipment to continue their quest for answers within the Mesa. Perhaps therein lay the key to unlocking the secrets of Skinwalker Ranch. Redirecting their focus, the team turned their attention to the East Field, another intriguing locale on Skinwalker Ranch. There, they collaborated with Barrett Anderson an expert in high-speed cameras equipped with Fatron cameras. Their aim was to conduct an experiment, drawn by the presence of aerial anomalies observed in the area over the past three years. These phenomena seemed to coincide with an ancient megalithic spiral of boulders and a petroglyph depicting celestial alignments believed by experts to represent portals. The mere mention of portals stirred anticipation among those invested in uncovering the truth about Skinwalker Ranch, as it hinted at a deeper layer of mystery surrounding the UFOs frequenting the area. It suggested that these portals serve as conduits for interdimensional travel. Interestingly, snakes, seen as guardians in this context, may be safeguarding two distinct realms an idea that could spark intense discussions, particularly among followers of Abrahamic faiths. Yet, as extraordinary as this notion may seem, it's eclipsed by the discovery of a column-shaped anomaly in the same east field, unveiled through photogrammetry. Adding to the intrigue, a structure hanging approximately 300 feet in the air was detected via a LIDAR scan earlier that year. What's even more perplexing is that this structure appeared to align with the top of the column-shaped phenomenon, coinciding with the area where the team-to-team -team experience helicopter being mysteriously pushed around by an unknown force. Given these remarkable findings, investigations and experiments in the East Field were imperative. The sheer magnitude of these structures, with the first being likened to a ten-story building, didn't escape notice. Jeremiah Pate, CEO of the high-tech company Loonies, previously conducted a radar scan revealing evidence of portals in the area. Naturally, the team is eager to validate their portal theory. Consequently, they ventured into the East Field alongside Barrett Anderson where they've encountered several of these intriguing anomalies firsthand. Accompanied by Barrett Anderson, the team embarked on an experiment involving acoustic sounds, utilizing his high-speed cameras to observe any potential anomalies in the area. The premise was intriguing. By generating specific frequencies, they hoped to elicit a reaction from any entities present. This concept stems from the belief that certain frequencies hold the key to opening portals to different dimensions. This notion was previously shared by Navajo Ranger John Doe, who explained the East Fields mysteries to the team back in 2021. According to him, 
ancient indigenous tribes believed in the power of sound frequencies to access other realms. The implications are vast, if certain frequencies indeed hold the potential to open gateways, it could revolutionize space and interdimensional travel. Doe recounted stories of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs, entering the Mesa, suggesting the possibility of replicating such phenomena. Travis Taylor takes this concept further, noting that similar beliefs exist in other cultures and religions. References to sound triggering significant events, such as the trumpet heralding their rapture, are found across various faiths. While Travis acknowledges the absence of concrete confirmation, he emphasizes the prevalence of law surrounding this concept. The exploration of sound frequencies and their role in accessing different dimensions transcends cultural boundaries, offering a fascinating avenue for further investigation. With ample time and resources at their disposal, the team eagerly prepares to put their interdimensional theory to the test. Travis Taylor's plan to launch rockets into the air promises to shake things up and delve deeper into the mysteries of the area. The anticipation is palpable as they gear up for the experiment, hoping that their high-speed cameras will capture any anomalies that arise. For scientists like Eric, as well as those observing from afar, these experiments present a fascinating convergence of multiple aspects of physics, from acoustic frequencies to light, speed, and the RF spectrum. The team's investigation spans various domains of science, promising to unravel the secrets of the phenomena at Skinwalker Ranch. As they assemble their equipment for the nighttime experiments, the team methodically sets up the tone generator to broadcast a range of acoustic frequencies. Eric takes charge of broadcasting individual tones at different frequencies, while the spectrum analyzer stands ready to detect any RF radiation emitted during the experiments. Barrett Anderson prepares his high-speed cameras, capable of recording over 2,000 images per second ensuring they capture any anomalies with precision. With everything in place, the team moves on to the next phase of their plan, executing the sound frequency pitches and launching the rockets. The stage is set for a groundbreaking experiment that could provide valuable insights into the enigmatic phenomena of Skinwalker Ranch. As the high-speed cameras roll, signaling the start of the experiment, Eric launches the sound frequencies while the team simultaneously sends the rocket soaring toward the anomalies. Within moments of the rocket breaking through the anomaly, Barrett notices something peculiar on his camera feed. The team is gripped with anticipation, wondering what this mysterious object could be. Perhaps a bird, a plane, or something more extraordinary. Though initially uncertain, it becomes evident that whatever Barrett captured is no ordinary phenomenon. Through calculations, the team determines that it's a remarkably swift UFO, keeping pace with the rocket at an astounding rate. Traveling half a mile in just over a second, it sets a new speed record for the show, leaving everyone astonished. Travis emphasizes the significance of this event, highlighting its unprecedented speed, 3,600 miles per hour, in just six seconds after launch. Lasting a mere second, the sheer velocity defies conventional explanation, suggesting an otherworldly origin. Tony adds another intriguing observation. Despite its incredible speed, there's no visible wake or sound accompanying the UFO, hinting at a frictionless nature. For Travis, this revelation echoes similarities to the infamous Tic Tac incident a notable UFO encounter. The absence of friction and sound further deepens the mystery surrounding this unidentified aerial phenomenon, raising more questions about its nature and origins. The parallels drawn between the Skinwalker Ranch UFO and the renowned Tic Tac incident from 2004 introduce a captivating dimension to the team's discoveries. Much like the Tic Tac, the observed UFO displayed rotational movement and lacked discernible physical exhaust, suggesting a similarity in propulsion mechanisms. Its swift appearance and disappearance, coupled with the potential presence of a protective force field, 
only deepen the comparison to the Tic Tac encounter. Travis's insight prompts the team to contemplate whether the resistant metallic anomalies in the mazes share comparable characteristics potentially being frictionless or shielded by force fields. The anomaly's resistance to drilling, despite significant pressure, underscores its remarkable resilience against conventional methods. This analysis extends to other observed anomalies, such as the rapid moving object above a deceased cow, resembling the behavior of the UFOs. Reflecting on their recent experimental setup involving the tone generator, spectrum analyzer, rockets, and high-speed cameras, the team engages in speculation regarding the triggering mechanisms behind these enigmatic phenomena. Their inquiry centers on precision, probing whether sound or rocket launches could provoke responses from the mysterious UFOs. With a keen interest in testing their hypotheses, the team eagerly plans to conduct further sound experiments aiming to ascertain if sound alone holds the key to eliciting reactions from these elusive entities. As the team geared up for their purely sound experiment, their objective was clearer to pinpoint what triggers the interdimensional visitor. Their plan involved releasing a sequence of individual frequencies, systematically testing which one might elicit response from the UAP. The procedure seemed straightforward enough. Launching the frequencies one by one, the team eagerly awaited any signs of activity from the UFO. Their excitement peaked when the UFO materialized in response to a 192 Hz frequency sound. This discovery aligned intriguingly with John Doe's assertions regarding the potential of frequencies to act as gateways for these enigmatic visitors providing a potential avenue for further exploration. Could this frequency hold the key to unlocking more secrets about the captivating 5002 acre expanse known as Skinwalker Ranch. The anticipation for revelations about this mysterious locale is palpable, with each experiment shedding new light on its perplexing nature. From overcoming obstacles that threaten their endeavors to conducting experiments that delve into the ancient lore of American tribes, the journey at Skinwalker Ranch continues to unveil shocking secrets captured vividly through the lens of high-speed cameras.